Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and we'll take a quick look at the upscale extension. Is it any good? Should we buy it? Is it worth it? Well, let's find out. I have an image over here into my downloads. It's of this uh, blue heron. And what I will do is I will open this image into Photoshop. This is uh, an image I took a few years back. I remember taking this at the Chicago Botanical Garden. And I'm just going to open it in Photoshop. Don't worry, we're not working in Photoshop. The only reason I'm taking it in Photoshop is because I want to reduce the size of this image by, uh, you know, turn it to a quarter and then we'll take it back in Luminar Neo and upscale it four times to get it back to the original resolution so we can compare if it did any good or not. So with this photo into Photoshop, I will go into image, image size. And as you can see, this is a 5,500 pixel by 8,200 pixel. And I want to make it smaller by percentage. So instead of this is at 100%, I'm going to make it 25%. So that means we will make it, you know, a quarter size. And I will say, okay, this will turn it into 1,376 pixels by 2,064 pixels. And click OK. You see, this image is so much smaller now. So with this image, this size, I will go to File and Save As, and I will save it into my Downloads as a JPEG. And I'm going to rename this one Small, because this is our small version. And I will click Save. Great. Best quality. I will say OK. Now, into Luminar Neo, I'm going to go to Add Photo, and I'm going to go to my Downloads, and I'm going to import this small version. You see, this is the full version, the 5500 uh, pixel, and we'll import this one, the 1376 pixels. So I'll click on that, and I will add it. Great. Now, with this image into Luminar Neo, in order to upscale it, all you have to do is drag this image into the upscale, and now we have the option of upscaling it two times, four times, or six times. I'm going to choose four times because this will going to bring it to the exact resolution, the same, the same pixels of my original file. And I'll click Upscale. Now Luminar Neo, it will do its magic. And it will put up the upscaled image over here into the upscale folder. So this is our upscaled image. And as you can see, it brought it back into the 5500 to 8256. And also, as you can see, I shot this one with my Nikon D850. This is a few years back, like I said, when I was shooting Nikon. And for the lens, I had the 500 millimeter PF lens. I used to love that lens. Anyhow, now we have the upscaled image. So I need to export this one. I'm going to export it. And I'm going, this one is going to be small upscale. And we're just going to go into the downloads and click save. Great. It's doing the export. It always takes a while to export from Luminar Neo. And I don't know what that is. Now let's go into our downloads. As you can see, this is the small one that we, you know, reduce the resolution. This is our original one. You can tell it's the D850. I always name my files with the um, letters of the camera I'm using and then the number. So, you know, for my A7R4, I will have 7R4 and then the numbers. Anyhow, this is the original image. This is the image that we upscaled into Neo. So I'm going to select these two images and I'm going to open it actually with I'm going to open them with Lightroom because with Lightroom, I can just compare them side by side. And there you go. We have our two images. This is the original image. This is the one that we upscaled into Luminar Neo. And now I can select both of them and I can compare them. At the first glance, the left one is the original. The one on the right is the upscaled into Neo. At first glance, they both looked great. Let's move at 100%. So I'm going to move over here at the head. And I'll put this one at 100% as well. And there's definitely some difference. Like the left one, it's very sharp. 
but I feel like the right one has like some artifacts. Look at these feathers over here. It has this white halo around it where this one does not have it. The beak looks quiet, grungy. I don't know what's happening. I'll just go to 300%. You should never look at your images at 300%, but we'll go this time. Let's go 200. I'm going to put this one at 200 as well. So here is the difference. You see this haloing around the feathers here. I look at the background. It's quiet, noisy, or artifacts. I'm not sure what's happening in there. We get this haloing around these feathers. Where this one is nice and sharp. This one has haloing. The feathers all through the neck here. These are all smooth and sharp. This one has definitely some artifacts. Let's continue investigating this. It's not terrible, but definitely better than the original. Let's see. Let's see at the feet. Feet highlights have... I'm sorry, my dog is barking. All right. The rocks at the feet, they're both pretty good. I don't see a lot of artifacts. I'm gonna go back to fit. And this is pretty much how Luminar Neo Upscale works. Is it worth it? Is it not? Was it good? Well, that's for you to decide. I don't really wanna tell you one way or another, um, but this is how it works or how it doesn't work. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.